All right, welcome to Deal or No Deal, Howie Mandel, please don't sue me. Um, this is a series where I'm going to review some of the very cheap, alternatively priced cycling triathlon related products that I buy and test and use a lot. So the first one I'm gonna do here is this pair of cycling sunglasses. Yes, they look a little ridiculous, let's talk about them. So first of all, these are uh, a pair of Rock Bros, photochromic sunglasses, um, which means that in theory, they transition between uh, clear or tinted depending on what the weather is like. Clear, right now, you can see that they are mostly tinted because uh, I'm out exposed in the sun, but we'll talk a little bit more about that. Let's talk about the pros first. One, they are only $20. You can get them on eBay, you can get them on Amazon. That's dirt cheap. Comparable sunglasses from Oakley or Smith uh, might be something like $120 at least. So uh, 100%, $20, that is a pro. Their coverage is fantastic. Um, they cover a lot of the face. I've done a lot of rides with these already and I've never had an issue with kind of wind getting in, my eyes don't dry out. All that is really good. Uh, that's kind of what you expect from sunglasses. So that is a definite pro for them. Um, visibility wise, they covered everything. Now I was worried that because these have frames on the top and bottom, I was going to hate that, especially for when I'm getting into aero and I'm trying to peer up. Uh, it turns out that the frames on top don't actually matter that much, or rather I, they don't block my visibility at all, uh, which is really good because I spend a lot of my time on my tri bike and a lot of the time in aero. So that's not an issue. Now an issue where visibility is a problem, and I'm going to add this one to the cons list, is actually when I'm head checking. So if I'm riding along, I hear a car, I wanna check that there's a car behind me and I look back, the bottom frame here is almost always in my line of sight. No matter kind of where these are on my head, um, I think after riding with these, my next pair of sunglasses will 100% be completely frameless, at least on the bottom, probably on the top as well. Uh, it's just like this black plastic is just in my way and that's that's kind of real inconvenient because I'm head checking a lot um, Let's other cons nose comfort. So these although they do have a rubber nose piece. Honestly, they're just uh, It's kind of hard and and actually after my first ride which was about four and a half hours with these I felt tender on the bridge of my nose for a couple days after, which you really don't want. I didn't notice it while riding, but I certainly noticed it after. Uh, that's kind of unacceptable depending on the number or the, the length of the rides you do. Um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind given I do have slightly bigger of a nose than a lot of people. So your experience may vary there. Um, let's see, what else? They look kind of dweeby, but we already knew that and a lot of glasses uh, look like that. So not much you can say there. Oh yeah, so I personally don't think they get dark enough. Um, and I'm gonna show you some pictures right now of what they look kind of walking in straight from the outside, or straight from the inside rather, when they haven't been tinted. And then two minutes after that, two minutes after that, and then two minutes after that. So you can kind of judge for yourself how, uh, well, you know, whether or not that's gonna be enough tint for you. But now I have to say that when I've been riding outside in bright sunlight, I haven't really had any issues with them not being dark enough, but they're, it hasn't caused problems, but I think I would still like them to be darker. So with that in mind, I think I would wear these for a ride in the early morning or dusk when it's, uh, you know, when you're not exactly sure how much sun you're gonna get. But if I was riding middle of the afternoon and sun was the only thing in the forecast, these are not the glasses I would go for just because they don't quite get as, as dark as you kind of expect sunglasses to get. So that's uh, you know another downside there. So are these worth the $20 that you'd pay for them? I mean, $20 is kind of almost nothing, but I don't think I would buy these specific ones again. Will I, have these turned me off to $20 sunglasses altogether? Absolutely not. Um, I will try some other sunglasses and see what I think but these are probably not the ones that I would get. Probably the biggest factors for me that make it a no-go are the uncomfortable nose bridge and, uh, and looking down. I just, I won't buy another pair uh, that has frames on the bottom. So uh, yeah, if you have tried cheap sunglasses and you have a pair that you absolutely love, I'd be super curious to hear about that. 
let me know, message me on Instagram, uh, leave it in the comments because I would love to try them out. But as of now, I don't know, I don't feel like I uh, totally wasted $20, but it's also not, uh, not quite what I was hoping for.